Alright guys, it's Dustin back again with RC Jet Addiction. Here we're going to do how to program the 12X to work with gyros. In this uh, video, we're going to cover two gyros. So we're going to do aileron and rudder. Alright, so we're starting here with a blank model. The first thing we're going to do is turn off and turn on holding down the roller. Brings us into the system mode list. So what we need to do is free up the channels we're going to use for the gain. So what we did is went into device select and uh, we want to activate the gyro sense menu. So we're going to do that on aux 2 and aux 3. So as you can see we're going to gyro and then on aux 3 we're going to go to gyro. So right here where it says the aux 3 lever and aux 2 switch uh, you can disregard whatever it says in that box because aux 2 and 3 will be on the gyro sense menu so the gains will be controlled using this gyro sense menu which I'll show you right now so we're gonna hit enter to get back to the main uh, screen and uh, we'll hit list you'll see we opened up gyro sense so just to make sure uh, we went into travel adjust and all our values for what was aux 2 and aux 3 are plus and minus 100 so that's good we want reverse on those channels to be in the normal direction down and sub trims to be zero perfect so let's go in here and set up gyro sense so here we got a few options since we did two gyros in the previous uh, device select it defaulted to two gyros that's what I want you guys to use uh, manual this is the switch that activates the uh, gain selection you can see this is uh, channel aux 2 we got three gains and channel aux 3 we got three gains so I generally use the flap lever to select my gains because we've got three different flight conditions. We'd have flaps up for high speed flight which means you need a lower gain setting. Mid is kind of a medium speed. It's a takeoff flap so you'd have a little more gain but uh, still not a lot. And then full flap that's a slow flight mode so you're gonna be able to get away with a lot more gain without the airplane getting into that critical oscillation. So I set my airplanes up so that the flap switch uh, changes the position indicator. I'm flipping the flap switch right now. You might be able to hear it in the background. So, the way the 370A gyro operates is on negative 100. Let's go into the servo monitor. I'll try to describe this. So, from the previous screen, you saw we were at 50% value. Well, that puts us right at center, uh, neutral pulse width. That would be 50% gain on a 370A gyro. All the way down here at negative 100 is gyro off. All the way up here at positive 100, that is full gyro. So, what we want are both of these to be much closer to the zero, the negative 100, uh, that'd be zero gain. So we're looking for that bug to be on this side of the graph. So let's go in here, go to gyro sense, and what I do is I plug my rudder gain into aux 2 and aileron into aux 3. That helps me remember uh, what slot it is and uh, basically I think about it this way that the aux 2 is this column it's on the rudder stick side and the aux 3 is this side so that's the uh, aileron stick so I plug my rudder into aux 2 and my aileron into aux 3 pretty basic but uh, helps me keep this all straight in my mind so in position 0 flaps up right here I want uh, less gain so Generally speaking, on a rudder, I would choose about 10. 
and um, mid flap, I would say 20. Just throwing out arbitrary values. Let's go 30. We just don't want a lot of gain. Ailerons, I found a good low setting to start with is around 8. And I guess what we're looking for is when the airplane is flying in high speed, if the wings are uh, oscillating, uh, if it's really high gain, the airplane will shake back and forth in the roll axis or the yaw axis uh, if either gain is too high. So this one I start out around 20 and this one maybe 25. I might knock this one down to 15. Let's start there. I did a setup just like this recently in a, an 80 inch saber and it worked perfect first time out. No issues. Not saying I couldn't fine tune it and uh, do some more uh, experimenting but it's a good place to start. So we want these boxes here, normal and normal, to be normal. That is for aircraft gyro. If we were to select tail lock, it gives us this new menu where we've got a little T, which means if we were using a heading lock capable gyro, say a, uh, a 500T, a 460T, something geared towards uh, advanced helicopters, we could say in flaps up mode we would want to be in tail lock in half flaps we'd want a normal rate mode which is airplane mode but we're not gonna mess with that we got a 370A that we're using so we're gonna leave them both on normal alright so let's go back to the monitor I'm showing you some extra steps here just so that you can try to follow along and learn as much as possible I try to teach you guys what's going on so that way you can uh, figure it out and uh, be able to fine-tune this stuff on your own or uh, answer any questions that you might come up with on your own so as I'm flipping the switch down we're in uh, we're in normal high-speed mode you can see our our bugs are just off zero which is good and now they jumped up a little bit more let me get that bright again and they jump up more with full flap so what that's telling us is the gain is going from very little to more, but it's never going to a lot. So right now it's working very good. This is what we'd call constant gain. So the gain, no matter what the sticks are doing, is going to be constant. So the next step I want to show you is what we call stick priority mixing.